to the design in the age of experience. Um, so this morning, I'm super delighted to introduce you a very talented designer and a friend, Takumi, who will join me on stage. Takumi, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. So the session today is about um, a portrait of DB. Of DB. You will explain us yep. what's the project about. And we'll talk about a very um, interesting subject that I love, which is called, um, I called it, when art meets science. It can mean a lot of things. In design, we talk a lot about design inspired by nature. And you will see some of these topics during his presentation. But today, it's really about when art meets science. When uh, Takumi, the poet, is meeting a guy like me, a geek, scientific <laughs> guy, to make crazy piece of art in the automotive industry. So let's give you the end so you can talk about your project, yeah. your crazy project. Thank you. The floor is yours. So good morning, and thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Takumi Yamamoto. Um, no automotive designer with uh, over 20 years of experience and uh, I'm the owner of Takumi Yamamoto. It's a design consulting company uh, which designed from a spoon to a flying car and I also um, support, uh, propose a way to present what we design, it's important how, you know, design itself is important, but how to send it is also important. So this is my job. So there are two columns in Takumi Yamamoto. One is uh, industrial design service, and another one is uh, designing one of bespoke cars. It's like an iconic design. I'm not just doing that because I love it. I, I'm doing this because myself uh, was made a car designer by encountering a car when I was little. When I was five or six, I saw this car. And this car made me a car designer. And I'd never seen it. It was a photo of a car, you know define my life. So I said to myself, I should do the same to, to the, uh, for the next generation. So this is one, one reason, one of the reasons I do this, what you might call like a hypercar or supercar to inspire the next, enrich, enrich the life of the next generation. So it can be a, uh, a project for a company like I did. This is called Venus. And it can be like a, you know, a, a customer, a person. And I haven't started this. Uh, um, my company just started, funded uh, 1st of January 2017. So it's my third year. But I wasn't, it wasn't, I was doing that while I was working for uh, Citroen. So this is a car called GT by Citroen. And I, I was eager to change the way how to present cars at that time. So in car industry, we always use a, uh, what we call a uh, motor show and you know, for two weeks, invite people and then present car and uh, go to the next. But as we kept doing that for over 100 years, I proposed them to change the way to present it. So what I did was uh, design a car for game, video game, exclusively video game, and uh, spread our message, which is this car, through the network of a video game. So, you know, Customer doesn't need to come to Shoker, but if you got an internet connection and a console, you can see it, enjoy it, and you can drive it, and you can even own it virtually, though. 
and Takumi, I think. Hello, thank you. Um, mm. As you did that when you were a car designer at Citroën, right? Yep. So you made the physical prototype for the so other yeah. show? So this car was debuted in a virtual world, so in a video game world. But we made a replica in a real world, so we, you know, you did changed the, the game. <laughs> between the virtual and the physical world? So the, the one in a virtual was a real, and the one in a real was a copy. Okay, yeah. and the game is uh, Gran Turismo, Gran I think, Turismo. right? Gran Turismo. All right. <laughs> and uh, this car won a prize, Louis Vuitton Classic Award, which is given for the most beautiful car of the year. And I went further, and so I did a bit racing, ber lazy version. And uh, this was exclusively in a video game, so it doesn't exist in the real world at all and which debuted in 2009. But this is still one of the um, preferred car by the users. So uh, users in uh, GT still can play with this car, which is impossible with a normal show car. Of course, I wasn't doing just this fun project. I was working on this production car, what we call. So I said my uh, bespoke car project can be for a company, private customer, and it can be for myself. And today I'd like to talk about a portrait of David Bowie. So like I encountered a supercar, as I showed at the beginning, I encountered David Bowie as well when I was nine. And I was so, so shocked, almost fell in love. So I wanted to do something with him. And as I wasn't a singer, I thought, why don't I design a car for him? So when I started my, com uh, started my company, the first project, I attacked with this. So I had this idea for over 20 years. So now I got my own company, time has come. So I was preparing for the presentation, and I was going to see him. But three weeks later, he passed away. So I thought it's no longer possible. I tend to achieve all of my dreams so far, so, but I said to myself, there are things which is impossible. But uh, after two weeks of like a, you know, deep blessing, you know, I was really, really down, but I said to myself, it's impossible to do it with him, but still possible to do it for him. So I changed the concept and uh, I decided to do a tribute for him. So it's a basically a portrait of him, like a painter uses oil, a sculpture uses a clay, wood, metal, I use car. I express himself by using car as a medium. So it's him. I don't know if you agree or not. But, uh, so it's quite difficult to design a car. Like, OK, design Xavier. Yeah. Xavier okay. car. It's difficult, isn't it? So what I did was extracted few keywords from him, so which was pure, March face, what was it? Provocative, sorry, yeah. So I kept sketching form which correspond to these keywords, but the problem is I can only build one, so I decided to put these conflict, uh, conflicting keywords in one, one shape. So also, I also tried to emulate uh, some of the character he played in his career.
he played so many characters and he changed the style of appearing every time. So I wanted to mimic the, uh, his aspect. So the car was done in a 3D world, in a, in a, in a cat world, with, in a cat here, ice and surf. But of course, I couldn't do it with, uh, without by myself. So I got the help of Cyril Anseri, who is a specialist of uh, cat here, ice and surf, and uh, Alex Lachnak, uh, who does a CGI, beautiful, beautiful CGI images like this. And uh, so now we got the 3D model down, but now we had to find a solution to make it in a real world. So our aim was to present it somewhere, and the, the real model. This is a short video of the process. Cyril working on ISM. Beautiful rendering by Alex. And 3D printing. Yeah. Massive 3D printing. <laughs> so this is the team. It was a pretty big uh, challenge to do a scale one 3D printing car yeah. with that size. Yeah. But you made it. <laughs> uh, and expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and expensive, you're right. So, <laughs> we, yeah, but finally we find a solution, you know, and uh, we, we finally presented it in Paris, Anvalit, where we can find uh, where there is a tomb of Napoleon. And at the end of uh, January 2019, it was presented, and uh, everyone was happy. <laughs> you know. Have I missed something? Ah, uh, yeah. So as you've seen it, uh, it's printed, entirely printed, because I didn't want to build it, because it's him for me. So I wanted to give a birth to it. So I chose a 3D printer. So that, you know, it comes up from nothing. Like, a, you know, give me, giving a burst to baby. So this was uh, how it's installed in Ambalit. And of course, I had only one model, but he was so much faced uh, person. So to expect that, I decided to paint it in white, but in but I decided to do, uh, to get the help of projection mapping to ex express his much much role, much faceness. So it changes completely the character of the car. So this adventure hasn't finished yet. Yeah. Continue the project using 3D experience? Yep. So, you know, going, going back and forth between 2D and 3D, in 3D experience. And looking for alternative idea in natural sketch. In VR. In yeah. VR. It was quite amazing. Once you put the, the you know, Edge. Google on, HTC Vive. HTC Vive, you, you forget about, you know. 3D? Yeah, it's You're in inside. a virtual world. You, you are really in yep. the world. I like the gesture. You like like a... It's, it's, it, it's really mm -hmm. like, a, you know, touching the real cray model for me. Yep. Which, Exploring. Which might look a little bit stupid. <laughs> but no, no <laughs> you don't look stupid. You look like an artist creating. And of course, you can, you can draw on a 3D model. Yeah, the tattoo version. Yeah. You check the highlights. With the mm. ISM surfaces. Yeah, ISM surface. 
quality of shapes. And of course, if you want to check in a real environment, you can check it in a virtual in environment, it's yep. live. Real time rendering. Real time rendering. Absolutely. And that's not it. So yeah. So I will, I will say a few words. Sorry? <laughs> I will say a few words about that. Mm -hmm. So the collaboration with Takumi started a while ago, and uh, we are just entering now into a next step. And we are um, studying new uh, now um, a new ways to do design and shapes. You know, I was talking about uh, when art meets science, how to be inspired by nature. And being inspired by nature means a lot of things. You can be inspired by a, a tree, a shape, a flower. Uh, but you can also be inspired by uh, the scientific approach of nature, physics, gravity, but also, why not, uh, waves of sounds and so on. So with Takumi, he came to me and said, uh, you know, I made a tribute to David Bowie. And the DNA of this tribute is about music. It's about David and, and the music. So let's try together. You're a big scientific company, the system. Can we try to make shapes that are coming from a, a music from David Bowie? So this is what we have started just last week. So what yep. you will see is a result of just one week of brainstorming. It's just the beginning of the story. But that's the idea, how to generate shape inspired by music, right? Yeah, so th thanks. Yeah, so what I wanted, but I, what I couldn't do for a long time was uh, because he's gone, I could no longer collaborate with him. But if his song can change the form of my work, it's a collaboration, even he's not there. So what I tried to what I wanted to do was uh, using parametric design, but extract parameters from his songs, and the change the form of my, my change the form of my car, which I couldn't do it because I could I haven't got the right person, right solution. But uh, with uh, Xavier, um, finally, I got a solution yeah. for my ID. So yeah. on the left is what you gave us as a shape that you would like to, to do in terms of patterns. And, and the brief was to do also uh, to, 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 to make these kind of shapes, but coming with inputs of a music. And what you see is the surface here, one, one face of the car. And what we did is that we took the soundtrack, the music, and we put that into mathematical equation that you see on the right, with a lot of connection to the soundtrack that will generate some shapes, some patterns, that Takumi, as an artist, can play with some parameters to then fine-tune the, uh, the final patterns. But the original input is the soundtrack. And uh, we put that in the equation. And Takumi can play with the parameters that you see on the right then to explore many ideas of shapes coming from this uh, music soundtrack. Some examples now on the car of different patterns explored by Takumi. So as you can see, the form changes. So once I come up with a, like a right algorithm or parametric, if I change the song, the car changes its form. So it's a real collaboration with Bowie. So some, some different variants. Yeah. So here is without this any is patterns. Original, without collaboration. So now he comes in <laughs> <laughs> and it changes form. Of course, this is a result of one week. Just of, one week uh, yeah. of preliminary exploration. So, so pretty promising. Yeah. I think sometime this year we can come up with a great result. And that's it. Thank you so much, Takumi. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think we have time, 10 minutes for questions, if you have any questions. Don't be shy. He's here. Hello. Hello.
Um, you'd mentioned, uh, I think, in your preview uh, about flying cars. I'm an airplane kind of geek. Is there okay. a, anything you can share on, on that information about air, your flying car concepts? Uh, I'm taking care of, uh, there is a start, Japanese startup called uh, SkyDrive. And the, their dream is to, you know, we are having Olymp uh, I'm Japanese, by the way. Uh, we are having Olympics, Olympic in 2020. Their aim is to lit the, the how do you call it, the fire with their drone, I mean, a flying car. Oh. <laughs> so I'm taking care of the design of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> Uh, it's not a question, it's more a remark. I think uh, we have here an installation where we try to get into the mind of uh, architects and architecture, and I think it would be great to get into your mind <laughs> <laughs> because we see that you are uh, very eclectic and um, beside your obsession with cars. Uh, and, and so it's great to see that uh, you can find different ways of uh, exploring your imagination and making it uh, come to life. So thank you for this testimony. Thank you very much. So um, thank you. My name is Antje. Um, I have a question just what you showed with, um, with the collaboration with the music and uh, generative design. So I think it's a really great um, starting point what you're working on and uh, that this could be really also scaled to other designs like architecture yeah. or, or like uh, city planning. So I think um, it's a very great work you did and I'm very interested also to follow this. Thank you. Much. Yeah, maybe uh, you can also, did you thought about how this could be scaled also to our industries? So not only um, designing of a car, but this, this kind of work could also be influence other industries, like architecture or urban yeah. planning. Yeah, of course. And uh, I think you do already, no? Yeah. 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 So that, and uh, yeah, this is what I love. And uh, this is something, of course, we couldn't do that before, right? And uh, this, this uh, parametric design came in. and. Uh, opened up the you know, possibility and uh, yeah, of course, I, I think, yeah, there is a massive possibility, yeah. But, Thank you. But it's true that this generative approach, this generative design approach is very, very uh, demanded in these both industries, the, the product car designers, but also the architects. And, and in the architecture, it's already several years that they, yeah, they are the, following the this trend. Way ahead yeah. compared to automotive Europe, and yeah. If you look at the result of the hackathon later today, you will see that yeah. even for the hackathon, they use a lot of technology, generative patterns, inspired by nature. Mm -hmm. So you're right. Thank you. OK, one last question. We have five minutes left. <laughs> no. All right, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, Takumi. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs>